Stoke City versus Luton Town match preview. Can Nathan Jones get another win away against his former club? We'll find out on Tuesday night. But here are my thoughts heading into that game against Stoke. Stoke, obviously, since the manager change of Alex Neil, things just haven't quite worked out for Stoke at this moment in time. They still need to give Alex Neil plenty of time for him to try and put his style of play within the group of players and also give him an opportunity to bring in his own players in in the January and summer transfer window. Actually, I say January transfer window because I don't know if he's going to last until the transfer window in the summer. They sit currently just above those relegation places and yeah, it just hasn't quite worked out. I just don't know what's going on at that football club. Obviously, recruitment is a big question mark because I think ever even when Nathan Jones was at the club, some players there, you just have question marks on whether or not they were the right players to bring in at the club. Obviously, at Stoke squad, they've had to get rid of a lot of players. A lot of changes have happened over the years. I don't think they're now... I don't Correct me if I'm wrong, there probably is a Stoke fan watching this video. I don't know if you're getting the parachute payment still, but I would have thought that would have gone by now. So... When that sort of money goes, you end up losing a lot of, of, of well, finances, well, the finance situation, you lose a lot of money. So you kind of like are trying to balance the books as well as keeping players happy on high wages. Now, they still have really good players at Stoke. You know, if they're still able to attract the players such as Dwight Gale, then, you know, you've got one of the, the most prolific strikers in recent years in the championship so you are gonna do you would have thought you would do well in certain aspects especially scoring goals but that's been a problem for stoke getting results has been a problem everything that's happening at stoke has been a problem is what i'm trying to say and even though all these problems are happening at stoke they probably may end up beating luton on tuesday despite all this happening but in their recent game Against Birmingham, they just weren't good whatsoever. And I didn't think that Birmingham side were good at, at all at the start of the season. But they now have, you know, found a way of winning matches and playing a really good style of football there, which is working for them. So you could say, you know, it was a hard fixture for Stoke. But I feel like since the return of Stoke in the Championship, those are the types of games you expect Stoke to win. You expect Stoke to flirt with the playoff places. You expect them to compete with the very best in the league. And that's exactly what they're not doing at this moment in time. But as I've already said, they do have the players more than capable of doing, of doing really good things in this division. Nick Powell on his day when he's fit, one of the best. Dwight Gale, as I mentioned, one of the best goal scorers in the Championship. Lewis Baker in the midfield is a very good player. Also, former Luton pro um, product as well. So, they've got players there that can do, you know, good damage. They've got a manager who's very experienced at this level, who has done it extremely well at this level, and has also got teams promoted out of this level. So, they've got the best chance now to try and change things at the moment, but it's obviously taking a bit of time. We, Luton, we go to Stoke on the back of a very good away performance against Blackpool but the problem is at Luton it is the injuries which we have suffered especially at the back at this moment in time we only have one fit centre half but then again I say that I've just remembered at the back of my head that Gabriel Osho is going to be returning as he's just finished his free match suspension so in fact we've got two fit centre halves we've got Tom Lockyer and also Gabriel Osho I do think we probably are going to play in a back three um, I don't want us to. I know we moved to a back four against Blackpool after when Dan Potts came off injured. I much prefer a back four. I've always preferred a back four, but I do think Nathan will stick to his back three ways. He did start the game against Blackpool despite only have one fit centre-half as in a back three. So, yeah, I just expect him to keep playing this back three system. I don't like it, but... It's what he's going with, and it's getting results. I can't deny it. It is getting results. However, I just don't think it's getting the best out of every single player within the start 11 that it picks. I just don't think the system works for every single player. I think you need certain personnel to make the system work, and when you don't have that personnel, it just... Yeah, it not everyone performs well, and it, you can tell the performance isn't quite there. But it is what it is. We're getting results. 
And yeah, you can't fault that really. I think results is what we all care about at the end of the day. But yeah, we'll go to Stoke on the back of a very good 1-0 away win. We have Osho returning, which is a positive, and we've got one of our other set of arse performing out of his skin, performing the best, one of the best in the league, in my opinion, at this moment in time, and that's Tom Lockyer. Going forward, we've still got Morris, we've still, we've still got Elijah. You know, going forward, you know, touch wood over here, we don't get any more injuries going forward, but yeah, we are in a, I would say, in a really good situation. Form-wise, we're up there, in, in the, you know, competing in the playoffs in the sense of form-wise. We're not too far away from those playoff places. In fact, a win against Stoke could actually put us into those playoff places. And our rivals are only just above us. So, it is good times at this moment in time. We're just hoping players come back. But this Saturday, Tuesday, Saturday, Tuesday um, business is really hitting the squad hard. And we kind of need this World Cup to come and just, you know, give us a little break. And then we come back, we go again in December. And then hopefully in January, we do bring in some players. I think Nathan Jones has noticed that within the squad, we do need to pick up a few players in. Because in my opinion, there are a few holes within the team that definitely need filling. So if we could do that, that would be great. Probably a midfielder and a centre half would be lovely right now. But, you know, hopefully we have to just wait and see what Nathan actually does. But talking about midfielders, Paddy Roddick, what... Since what, what a performance that man has done since he's returned to the side against Reading, you know, since starting, he's been fantastic. You know, back to back clean sheets, he's really making that position his own. I'm a little bit worried that we are going to break him in the sense of, of the work overload, considering of how much football he's played following his injury. But right now, he's performing out of his skin, and no one's complaining about Paddy Roddick, which is great. You know, club legend, one of my favourite all-time players, and he's doing a really good job at the moment. So, let's hope all this continues. Let's hope we can bring that momentum from Saturday's win against Blackpool into this game against Stoke. I would take a point away from home. 100% I would take a point. Any result away from home, you take, you know. So, if we can go to Stoke and not lose, happy days for me. And then on Saturday, hopefully we can put in a good home, well, a good performance um, on the Saturday and then try and get three points when we've had more of a break in between matches. But yeah, those are my thoughts, guys. Let me know your thoughts down in the comment section of the video. Score prediction for me, I'm going to go with a 1-1 draw. That is my score prediction. Let me know yours and I'll see you guys in the next video.